In other stories, the Japanese government reportedly believes it'll be difficult to come up with a breakthrough policy to resolve the issue of its wartime sex slavery. According to a report by the Nihon Keizai newspaper on Thursday, the response came during a meeting between the vice ministers of Korea and Japan earlier this month and during a meeting of both countries' foreign ministers last month. On a related note, Japanese lower house member Koichi Hagiuda, who serves as a special advisor to Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, said Tokyo does not intend to review the Kono Statement apology again. The Korean government says it plans to pressure Japan during next week's UN meeting about the sex slavery issue to force Tokyo in taking a more responsible role in resolving the matter.